Hi there, I'm Harriet Yashek and I'm here with Neil Branson, the Group Account Director for Jelly Bean Creative Solutions. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Um, so you've uh, won an award, congratulations. Um, how does it feel to have, to have won a World Food Innovation Award? We are absolutely delighted to have won a World Food Innovation Award for our best marketing campaign, engagement campaign, on behalf of our client Porky Whites, who are a Surrey-based um, sausage manufacturer, who are equally delighted with um, winning the World Food Innovation Award. It's real testament to the success of the campaign, and uh, we are absolutely delighted that um, judges uh, felt that we were the best campaign overall. How will this, um, how will the best marketing campaign win uh, benefit Jelly Bean Creative as a food service PR agency? Yeah, I think um, it's it's a it's a fantastic um, award win for us. We've won lots of awards over the years, and we're delighted to have won uh, this award on on a global stage. I think um, Jelly Bean is best known for food service, but um, in recent years we've diversified and we are. Um, now operating within the retail and consumer space and this campaign was one of those retail and consumer marketing campaigns so I think it shows the evolution of Jelly Bean and it also shows that we're attracting some really uh, wonderful clients to Jelly Bean and we're able to deliver world-class campaigns so it's really helping to, um, to set Jelly Bean, Jelly Bean apart within the food and drink arena and highlight um, how successful we can be when great clients work with us. And um, talking about your clients, um, can you detail the thought process leading up to the Saucy's PR and social campaign? Yeah, it was a it was a really exciting campaign for us, and I think the credit to Porky White for, be, for being very brave um, in terms of adopting some of the quite. Um, unusual thinking that we had going into this campaign they wanted something that would really um, help give them some media attention on a national level which they'd never done before so working with us we were able to come up with some some really um, innovative thinking about how we could do that so given the importance of uh, influencer marketing and given the opportunity that um, we have with Porky Whites to, to help elevate them on the back of their new packaging design, we decided to create uh, what is, we think, uh, a world first in terms of um, a Saucy's Awards, which uh, we came up with that name. And it was really about celebrating um, the, the, the tastiest celebrities in the UK and some of the tasteless celebrities in the UK. So it was slightly tongue in cheek and it was really, really fun. And we were able to crown the UK's tastiest celebrities, the likes of Ronan Keating, the likes of uh, Ben Shepherd, uh, Phil and Holly. And we were really pleased with um, the way that some of these celebrities got behind the awards, accepted the, the gong. We had coverage in uh, national newspapers. We had um, coverage on uh, GMB first thing in the morning with Ben Shepherd accepting the award live on air. And um, it really, um, really met um, our high expectations that we had for the campaign and um, we think that this can um, continue and we look forward to what we might be doing in, in um, 2020. You've mentioned in the past that um, you had to adapt to having a smaller budget when creating the Saucy's Awards. Um, how did you do this? Yeah, I think um, we shouldn't necessarily be limited by smaller budgets. I think um, this was a, um, a campaign that we were able to think creatively. We needed to um, come up with some, some clever ways to, to use the budget in, in, in the best possible way. And um, it's just being about being, being savvy, being clever with um, the types of tactics that we use being nimble as an agency so that we can um, enable the client to get the best bang for their buck. We are very smart as an agency, so there's lots of different um, tools and services that we're able to bring to both small brands and, and big brands. But um, because we're integrated, we're able to um, use a number of different services and, and, and 
add real value. And I think this campaign is a testament to that because on what was a, a 10K budget, we were able to deliver an ROI, which was uh, in excess of um, um, 15 to 1. And we were also able to reach 81 million um, consumers, which is a, a fantastic return on investment. And it helped the client um, achieve its, its biggest boost in brand awareness in its, in its long history. And this is a, a brand that's been around for, for many, many years. So we were really pleased with um, the level of uh, awareness that we're able to drive at an important time in the evolution of the Porky White brand. And um, talking about uh, the consumer base that you were trying to attract, what is it that attracts younger consumers to campaigns like the Saucy Rewards? Yeah, I think um, it was really important for, for Porky Whites um, in its brand evolution to um, start to talk to younger consumers. Uh, Porky Whites has been around since 1935 and understandably it has a very loyal um, consumer following. So it was about aligning our campaign with some new packaging which the brand introduced which was quite a, a brave step for them. So we wanted to create a campaign which um, enabled us to start to talk to and engage with, uh, with those new consumers and we felt the best way to do that was to get the brand um, spoken about and talked about in in and amongst popular culture and we hear a huge amount about influencer marketing and the power of celebrities etc and um, we very cleverly we think um, through this campaign were able to get our brand aligned with some of those celebrities we did some fun celebrity pairings with um, particular celebrities and our sausages and we were able to create these um, these fun tastiest celebrity awards and it was just a, a very um, clever way to get our brand um, the, the, the Porky White's brand spoken about and, and shared on social media and um, creating content that that consumers of, of, a, of a younger younger age bracket would, would enjoy. And it makes um, Porky Whites more relevant and uh, makes them go and buy them in store, which is obviously the, uh, the purpose of a particular campaign like this was brand awareness, but also the commercial um, sales generation as well, which we were able to achieve on, on both levels. Finally, what was your motivation for entering the awards? Um, the Saucy's Awards... Um, I'll start that again. The, the motivation for entering the World Food Innovation Awards was, was about getting that, that global recognition. It was about um, highlighting the fact that this is a campaign which, whilst we felt was successful, we wanted, um, that, enter, um, we wanted that third party endorsement as well. So it was, a, it was a clearly um, high aspirations, but we essentially wanted to win an award for our awards, which for us would be the, the pinnacle of, um, <laughs> of, of what makes great marketing. So your esteemed panel obviously felt so too, and we were delighted to, to win that. So we are proudly um, displaying our um, award um, in our respective boardrooms. And just yesterday, uh, Porky Whites were uh, on the BBC uh, talking about uh, the World Award win, which was fantastic. So our client, uh, Fran, was speaking with uh, BBC Radio Surrey, talking about um, how they are an independent brand and how they've received this um, external recognition. So we are um, creating lots of noise and, and excitement around it, and we're, we're delighted and proud to have won the award. Neil, congratulations again, and um, thank you for joining me. Thank you very much.